delivering quality education, expanding access to learning, The official TV-based instruction of Tagum City. This is Tagum City Division's Dep Ed TV Banana. Good day, dear learners. Welcome to another lesson full of knowledge, skills, and experience. I am your teacher, Rachel Sabinorio from La Filipina National High School. Join me as we start another fun and exciting lesson in TLE 10. Make sure that you are comfortably seated and be ready with your paper and pen for note-taking. Welcome to another lesson in TLE 10. Let's read first the objectives. At the end of the lesson, you are expected to First, identify the different kinds of meat products to be stored and explain the proper way of storing them. Second, follow the correct steps in wrapping meat as well as thawing frozen meat. Third, differentiate wet aging from dry aging. Fourth, enumerate the hygienic practices and food safety handling of meats. And fifth, memorize the four steps to food safety, which lead us to our most essential learning competency store meat in proper temperature and storage requirements. Are you familiar of the game Four Picks One Word? Great! Let's see if you can guess the correct word. Observe the images carefully. Hint, the images that have something to do with the different kinds of meat. I will give you 5 seconds to guess the images. Are you ready students? Let's start! students, you got it all correctly. Before we proceed to our pre-test, please comment at least two of your answers in your assignment, which I had given in our previous topic, Presenting Meat Dishes. You will identify the correct answer to the following questions. 
Number one, ham, bacon, smoked pork, and sausage products are examples of fresh meat. True or false? The correct answer is false. Number two. Thawing in the refrigerator is the easiest method to tenderize the meat, but it takes a long time. True or false? The correct answer is true. Number 3. To make a good airtight bundle that will protect the products, it's best to use good quality freezer paper. True or false? The correct answer is true. Number 4. In wet aging, meat is hung in temperature in humidity controlled coolers for a period of 2 to 4 weeks. True or false? The correct answer is false. Number 5. Leftovers, either warm or cool, can be stored anytime. True or false? The correct answer is false. Did you get the perfect score? If yes, thumbs up. You have successfully answered our pretest. Let us have a short trivia for this session today. Did you know that food historians believe prehistoric people preserved food accidentally through geography and living conditions? Things froze in icy northern areas and dried out in the hot Mediterranean sun. Early cave dwellers like stumbled onto smoking food after hanging it in the same caves where they made fires for warmth and light. Native Americans in ancient times sun-cured buffalo meat. In places where people had large deposits of salt, they used it to cure foods. In ancient Mesopotamia, now Iraq, during the Akkadian Empire, People cured and smoked meat, dried apples, and preserved food in honey. And contrary to some beliefs, people in the Middle Ages didn't use heavy spice blends to hide rotting meat. They simply loved the taste. And there was also the tradition of showing off spices in elaborate meals to flaunt wealth. But before we proceed to our discussion, let us first define the following terms. Freezer burn. It is the result of damage to the meat from dehydration and oxidation. Food safety. It is the handling, preparation, and storage of food in ways that prevent foodborne illness. Thawing. It is the process of warming food that has been frozen so that the food can be eaten or prepared to be served. Cured meat. It is a meat that has been preserved through aging, drying, canning, salting, brining, or smoking. Freezer paper. It is a thick paper with a plastic or wax coating on one side. Let us proceed to our discussion. Proper storage of meat. The safety measures to be taken 
vary depending on the form or type of meat product. Fresh meat. Store meat in the coldest part of the refrigerator within 3 to 4 days of purchase. Keep them in the original packaging, but also wrap it up in heavy plastic wrap or aluminum foil before storing. Cooked meat. Placing the meat in a pot or boil and immersing this in cold water. All cooked meat should be used within a week of the initial preparation or properly wrapped and frozen for later use. Cured meat. Cured, smoked, and ready-to-eat meats include ham, bacon, smoked pork, and sausage products. Leave these products in their original wrapping to prevent further contamination. Do not freeze luncheon meat. Canned meat. Store in a cool, clean, and dry place. Rotate food so the oldest is used first. Canned meat should never be frozen. The best rule to follow for storage is to read the can label carefully and follow instructions. Frozen meat. Freeze fresh meat as soon as possible to maintain the best quality. Meat can be stored for longer periods of time frozen at 0 degree Fahrenheit or negative 18 degrees Celsius or below. Meat properly wrapped have a relatively long freezer shelf life and prevent freezer burn. Follow the rule FIFO First in, first out. Did you get it right? Good job! Let's proceed! Steps in wrapping meat To make a good, airtight bundle that will protect the products, it's best to use good quality freezer paper. The first step in wrapping meat is Start with quality meat. Freshness of meat will affect the way it freezes. When meat is frozen at peak quality, it will taste better than told and cooked. Second, discard any previous packaging. It is safe to freeze meat in its original packaging. However, most commercial packaging is permeable to air, which may cause freezer burn if left only in its original package. Third step, prepare the meat. Cut exists fat of meat before freezing with a sharp knife and remove bones or bony pieces that might pierce the freezer wrap. If you want to keep the bone in, pad the sharp parts with newspaper or butcher paper before wrapping. Fourth, lay out a large sheet of moisture-resistant freezer wrap on a clean surface. Make sure you use a sheet large enough to let the joined edges on each side to fall down at least three times over the meat to be frozen. Fifth, place a sheet of wax paper between chops, ground meat patties, or other pieces of meat. This is optional, but will provide ease of separation without throwing the entire package. And the last step in wrapping meat, pack the wrapped meat in moisture-resistant freezer bags. Use a waterproof marker to label the bags with contents and date they were frozen. Throwing frozen meat. When thawing frozen food, it's best to plan ahead. There are different ways of safe thawing meat. In the refrigerator The easiest method but it takes a long time. Advantages to this method are that it's hands-off and the refrigerator 
keeps food at a safe temperature in cold water sealed packages of food may be thawed in cold water place the package under water in a bowl pot or sink and change the water every 30 minutes until the food is defrosted in the microwave microwave thawing may be uneven leading to poor quality or even bacterial growth this method is best if you're going to cook the food that's served immediately. Under running water. Meat may be thawed under cool running water. Let's continue. Let us look into the differences between wet aging of meat and dry aging of meat. Wet aging. Meat is aged in vacuum bags under carefully controlled refrigerated conditions because the packaging retains moisture. Wet aging results in increased juiciness and tenderness. Wet aging is the most predominant method used today and the process typically takes from one to two weeks. Dry aging. Meat is hung in temperature in humidity controlled coolers for a period of two to four weeks where the meat's natural enzymes act as a tenderizer breaking down the connective tissue making it more tender and giving it a more distinctive flavor this process takes more time and is more expensive and thus is not used as frequently as wet aging Did you get it? Great! Now let's look into hygienic practices and food safety handling of meats. Take note that the proper handling, good personal and kitchen hygiene, and appropriate cooking are the protections against spread of bacteria and avoid food poisoning. Can you enumerate some of these hygienic practices and food safety? I'll give you 20 seconds to think and list down at least three. Please be honest in answering the question. Countdown begins. Time is up! Now let's try to observe the different pictures and compare them with your answers. Very good students, your answers are all correct. Let's give ourselves a warm of applause. Lastly, let us familiarize the four steps to food safety. Four steps to food safety. Always remember the acronym CSCC, which simply means C for clean, S for separate, C for cook, and C for chill.
Very good, students! Now you already know how to store meat in proper temperature and storage requirements. At this moment, we will answer the following questions to master what we have learned today. Are you ready? Number one, identify the different types of meat and give at least two meat products to be stored and explain the proper way of storing them. The correct answer is fresh meat and canned meat. For fresh meat, store them in the coldest part of the refrigerator within 3 to 4 days of purchase. For canned meat, store them in a cool, clean, and dry place. Number 2. What is the first and last steps? in wrapping meat as well as thawing frozen meat. The correct answer is first step in wrapping meat it start with a quality meat and the last step is pack the wrap meat in a moisture resistant freezer bags. Number 3. Differentiate wet aging from dry aging in terms of its tastes. The correct answer is, in dry aging, the meat tastes well done and roasted, while in wet aging, meat tastes rare and more acidic. Number 4. What are the four steps in food safety? The correct answer is clean, separate, cook, and chill. Did you get the correct answer? If yes, that's great! If not, you can always go back to the discussion and try answering again. Now let us evaluate what we have learned today. Direction. Choose the correct answer among the given choices. Please answer the questions honestly. Question number one. What are the four steps in food safety? The correct answer is... Letter C. Clean, separate, cook, and chill. Question number two. Choose the best answer. Meat properly wrapped have a relatively long freezer shelf life and prevent blunt. The correct answer is letter A, freezer burn. Question number three. The process of warming food 
that has been frozen so that the food can be eaten or prepared to be served. The correct answer is letter B, thawing. Question number four. Which products can be stored in a cool, clean, and dry place? The correct answer is Letter D, canned meat. Question number five. Use separate blank and knife for meat and vegetables. The correct answer is letter B, cutting boards. Did you get the perfect score? That's great! And now, let's try to remember what we have discussed. Let us remember. Fresh meat, cooked meat, cured meat, canned meat, and frozen meat are the different types of meat that needs specific and proper storing. The most common way of storing some of these meats is through safe freezing and refrigeration. The prime purpose of packaging is to keep food from drying out and to preserve nutritive value, flavor, texture, and color. To make a good airtight bundle that will protect the products, it's best to use good quality freezer paper. Again. There are different ways of safe thawing meat. These are in the refrigerator, in the cold water, in the microwave, or in a running water. The biggest difference between the two kinds of meat is in the flavor. Dry aged beef can be described as having a roasted, nutty flavor, and while wet aged beef can taste slightly metallic and lacks the same depth of flavor. Take note that there are many types of bacteria which can grow on animal products. So it's important to safely handle and store all types of meat. A healthy kitchen depends on your knowledge of safe cooking and storage practices. Safe steps in food handling, cooking, and storage are essential to prevent foodborne illness. In every step of food preparation, follow the four steps of the Food Safe Families Campaign to keep food safe. Clean. Wash hands and surfaces often. Separate. Do not cross-contaminate. Cook. Cook to the right temperature. And chill. Refrigerate promptly. Remember that each type of meat it takes time to preserve its texture and taste. As we celebrate the Watch Month, we must put into practice the value of being time conscious. I hope that you have learned a lot in our session today. In our next episode, we will discuss another fun and exciting lesson. I am teacher Rachel Sabinorio leaving you this wonderful saying. There is no sincere love than the love of food by George Bernard Shaw. See you again next time only here at Salida La Filipina TV. Good day!
panghinaan Sa lidala Filipina ay bigyan daan Ito ay magbibigay na kaalaman TV naman ngayon ang inyong paaralan Mahirap man ang inyong sitwasyon Tayo ay magtulungan para sa edukasyon Bawat isa ay mayroong misyon Matutong mabuti maging inspirasyon Sa lidala Filipina Ang inyong pangarap ay tiksa Sa lidala Filipina Ang tao